Before we look how the human digestive system is organized and how the process of nutrition that is how the food obtained and how the food is digested in the human digestive system. Before that let us discuss how different organisms obtain their food. So what are the various means, what are the various structures that help the organisms to obtain the food. So different organisms they have different parts to get their food. You see an elephant how does it get its food? It uses its trunk to pluck the leaves and fruits and put the leaves and fruits in its mouth. It has got mouth parts to chew and eat. Even we have hands to catch the food and eat it through our mouth. So mouth is the point at which the food enters our body. So this is all the case of multicellular organisms and well developed organisms. They have well developed structures to get the food. Then how about single celled organisms? Say for example amoeba. Amoeba is a single celled organism. How does it get its food? Amoeba is an aquatic organism lives in the moist and wet places in the water. It is a single celled organism. It has only one cell throughout its life. Its body is made up of one cell. Then how can it possess special structures here? When the food is close to amoeba, so this amoeba it produces some special folds in its cell membrane. This is only one cell. This is the cell membrane. The cell membrane is folded like this and it gives out some projections called as pseudopodia, false feet. So these protrusions are extensions, they encircle the food like this. So the food is engulfed by the paramecium. So in this way the food is brought into the cell of the paramecium. Inside the cells the enzymes are present to digest the food. That means to convert the food into useful materials. And the undigested food is sent out of the body surface through contractile vacuoles. That is by the contractile vacuoles. And here these are the pseudopodium false feet. So in this way in case of amoeba the special modification of the cell membrane it helps to get the food. So in the same way if you see the other unicellular organism like paramecium it is also called as a slipper animalcule because of the slipper shape it has got a special groove called as oral groove oral groove. So this oral groove has got some hair like structures on its body and even in the oral groove these are called as cilia. So the food is passed through this oral groove into the body there is a point specific point at which the food enters into the paramecium. So the paramecium it moves in the water because of the water currents the food it moves in this way and the food gets trapped in the oral groove and it is engulfed taken into the body. So here for the movements the hair like structures called as cilia help the paramecium to obtain its food. But you can notice the difference between amoeba and paramecium. Amoeba it has no specific spot for the intake of food. From any side it can produce the pseudopodia and take the food. There is no specific site of food intake in case of amoeba. Whereas in case of paramecium there is a specific site for the food intake. Even you have a specific site to take the food in. That is our mouth. You cannot take the food through your ears or hands. Of course you, you have take help of your hands but the food has to enter your body through the mouth. So that is the difference we find. So this is the case of unicellular organisms. How do they obtain their food. Now let us see the human digestive system, the starting point of the digestive system from where the food enters and how the food is processed, how the useful materials from the food are extracted, absorbed and utilized. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.